Hey guys, Amanda and Monica Lumi here. And in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to make this design. It's called the Captured Pumpkins Bracelet. And it was designed by a friend of ours on Instagram, MDL Looms. I'm just gonna show you the account real quick. And this is the original one that he did right there. And let me just show you his account. There you go. If you want to jump on over and give him a follow, he did design this bracelet. And this is the first one that we did. Kind of looks like pumpkins you can see there, hence the name. And then we wanted to do one where it just kind of showed you that you don't have to do it in those colors. It, it's just a really pretty design and you can do it in different colors as well. So for this one we use the Tin Man and then a turquoise and a pink in that 600 count packs. So there you go. So you will need a hook, preferably a double ended hook. We are using the Lumi Loom from Rainbow Loom. I'm going to be using the black limited edition, the hot pink, and the white or frost, whichever you want to call it. So go ahead and get uh, your bands and then come back. So this design, it is uh, very intricate, but it's still pretty easy to follow. So I'm probably gonna do three of these little pumpkin shapes right there, and then um, that'll be our tutorial. So I'm gonna be using the white for the outside border color, pink for the inside there, and then the black for the two bands that you see there. So I'm just gonna slide that over. We are going to be doing a 12 band configuration at the beginning. So make your cap band. Then go and go ahead and pull these through. Pull that band through. So it looks like this. Okay. We're going to take that off. Pick up that cap band again. Put it back on. And then we're going to add four bands, I believe, to this side to make it six loops. We'll count it out. So there's one, two, three, and four. So that should give us six. I'm gonna move that over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now if you didn't catch what I did, I'm gonna be doing it the same thing on the other side. So we're just gonna flip our hook around, taking this band off, Picking up that cap band and replacing. I'm going to count out four bands. And there's one, and two, three. and four. And we should have six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is gonna give us a total of 12 bands. And then this is what you should have. Just like this. So now you wanna take your pumpkin color or whichever color you wanna use to be the little pumpkin. Like I said in the beginning, I'm going to be using the pink. So we've started with the 12. So what we want to do now is we want to band through and find the four bands that are in the middle. One, two, three, four, and we're going to pick those up. So just like so, I'm going to move those out of the way and we're just going to find those four bands in the middle. Okay. 
and we're going to pick up band number one, drop the two, and I don't know if it'll work. Pick that band up. And then we're going to put those back on. All right. Sorry I had to cut that part a little bit short. Um, my husband came home and the doggy went crazy. All right. So anyway, back to uh, what we just did here. So we pulled this band through these four loops here and we dropped the bottom two. So now we're gonna move on with another of our pink color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the band through six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we're gonna lift Bands two, four, five, and six. And then we're just going to move these out of the way. Just like that. Now we're going to pull the band through five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to pick up the outer three. So that's going to be that pink band and then those two white bands. And we're going to rearrange that. So it's going to look just like that. And then we're going to slide and do the same to the other side. Okay, so remember we're going to Pull the band through six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's going to be just like that. Pulling that through. And we're going to lift bands two, four, five and six, rearrange that like so. Grab another pink band, we're gonna pull the band through five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll be picking up those outer three bands. Pulling through the five, picking up the outer three. One, two, three. Rearranging those. And then this is what you should have on your hook. Just like that. So now I'm going to take the color, which on here it's the green. I'm going to use black. And we're going to pull through 10 bands. So we're going to pull through all of these except for these outer two ones right there. Okay? Pulling all of these through. Now we're going to go back. And we're going to pick up. Okay, we're going to pick up bands one, three, skipping four and five, picking up six, skipping seven, picking up eight, nine, ten. I'm going to move this out of the way, pull this down. This band needs to kind of go back, just like that. 
Okay. Grabbing another black band. And we're gonna pull all of this through and dropping these pink bands here, replacing the black. Just like so, picking up the black. Picking up that black and then the outer two. So you have that on your hook. You can kind of stretch that out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. I'm really not liking my camera angle. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Okay, so we're gonna go in and add our border now, hoping you can see this a little bit better. So we're gonna pick up one, two, three, four. Dropping those, we're gonna pick up the second band. If I can pick it up, second and outside. And we're gonna add our extra band here. Taking this, we're gonna pull through one, two, three bands here. And we're gonna pick up the outside band. And the goal here is to make sure that you just have the six loops to restart the uh, sequence. So now what we're gonna do, drop the two, replace, drop the two, and replace. And that should give us our six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have the six there. And we're gonna slide over. And repeat. Make sure that these bands stay here in that sequence there. Taking the two off. Picking up number two, the second one, and the furthest outside band, replacing. White band again, taking off the three bands, stopping with the black, picking up the outside. Outside and replace. Should be one more, should give us our six. Oops. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we are back at the beginning. And we're going to repeat this pattern. And I'm going to grab the pink again. And here it gives you a better look of all four bands in the middle. And that's what our first step is going to be here. We're going to pull the band all through these four here. There we go, picking up one and four. And also putting the rest of those on your hook, sliding those out of the way. Just like that. And that's what you should have here so far. If I can get them to stay. Okay, pink again. We're going to pull six bands through, and that should give you these one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. 
Okay, pulling these six through, we're going to pick up two, four, five, and six. Pull these over out of the way, like so. Now we're going to pick up five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to pick up the outer three bands. One, two, and three. And just rearrange these. Just like that. Slide to do the other side. I hope this camera angle works better for you. The only thing it is, it just kind of shakes my iPad a little bit as opposed to the other one. So hopefully that won't be too bad of a problem. All right. Six bands. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pulling those through. Don't forget we're picking up two, four, five, and six. Replacing. Moving those out of the way. Another pink. We're going to pick up five. One, two, three, four, and five. Picking up the outer three. And we're going to move those out of the way. Like so. If you hear any background noise, I do apologize. Uh, kids are home and one of them is watching TV. So, all right. So now I'm going to grab my black band. And we're going to pull through all 10 bands, leaving only these last two on the hook. Here we go. Pulling all of those through. We're going to pick up one, three, six, eight, nine and ten. Moving that out of the way. Pulling that down a little bit and we're just going to put this band right back there. Just like so. Okay. Pulling this through. All of those. This will actually drop those pink ones and we're just going to pick up the black again and then replace the white back on your hook. Just like that. And now we're at ready to start adding our border again. And here we go. Dropping that picking up band two and four replacing we're going to drop these three pick up the outside and replace and now we're just going to do the white on the end And then this should give us our six. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Slide to the other side. So we're going to pull through. Picking up two and four. Picking another band. Maybe. Dropping all of those. Picking up this one outside band.
that's probably five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, one more. Just like that. And then you're back and you have your six loop set up. Okay, I'm going to show you through here on this section. I'll show you one more time. I'm really not going to talk. We're just going to walk through it, okay? Four bands in the middle. If I can quit dropping them. We're picking up one, four, and the rest. Sliding these over, scooching that pink one back in, just like that. Three, four, five, and six. Picking up two, four, five, and six. Another pink. Picking up five bands. And picking up the outer three. We're going to slide to our other side. One, two, three, four, five, and six bands here. Picking up two, four, five, and six. Three, four, and five. Picking up the outer three. Okay, and then we're ready to put our black through. Remember pulling all through ten. One. Three, six, eight, nine, ten, just like that. Okay, and one more black through the middle. Hang on here. And just picking up our black. And we're ready to add our white on the outside. And then this will be our final steps. Dropping the three. One, two, three, four, five. We will add one more. And we will slide to the other side. One and four. If you hear the kids in the back, I'm sorry. I got TVs on and I told them to be quiet, but we'll see. <laughs> and see if that gave us our six one two three four five and six and there we go we have our three little pumpkins here 
and we've restarted and it gave, it, it gave us our six loop set up. So I'm just going to lay that there. We will show you again this one. And then here is the original bracelet that I did. I did a full wrap for that one. And then that one is our design. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. I hope it wasn't too shaky. Um, and uh, make sure you give us a follow, subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned. We have more to come.